So here's an old op map in a uh, metal can. This is the way they used to come. I don't see many of these these days. This is an LM318. Uh, so you can uh, go look that up online, but it's just an op amp. So the cans have a, a radial pattern of uh, eight pins. Uh, so here's the underside. So I've uh, taken the top off the metal can and uh, these are, this is the uh, chip in the center uh, glued down with uh, conductive silver epoxy and then wire bonded to the individual posts. All right, here's a closest view with uh, with my uh, first microscope, and I'll change microscopes for uh, for a better look. This is with my wild uh, Hertzberg wild uh, stereo microscope, and then this is with uh, my poor man's uh, dark field microscope that I have a video on. This is at uh, this is using a 20x objective. So I'm no expert at analog um, IC design, so I couldn't really tell you what these things are, <laughs> but it looks cool. So those uh, blurry things coming in, those are the wire bonds and the uh, they attach to the IC with a, uh, a process that is a, a pressure and vibration. It, it's, a, it's, a cold, it's a cold weld, actually. Uh, so there's a scrubbing action and, the, and the, uh, the, metal, the soft metal of the wire and the, the top metal contact of the, uh, of the IC, aluminum. Uh, yeah, they, they, uh, uh, they just kind of fuse by, uh, by pressure and uh, pressure and vibration.